This is on air with Bing X. And welcome back to another exclusive exclusive AMA session, guys. So today we are back with Greg Papania. So he is the founder and CEO of Science. So his mission is to use specifically scientifically backed music to enhance mental health, wellness, and performance. But before that, let's just get an overview about you, Greg. Like, how are you feeling? Oh, feeling great. Um, I do have a little cold, but other than that, feeling really good. And awesome. Could you please tell us a little bit about yourself and what science really is to the audience? Sure. Uh, I'm a music producer. And um, that means uh, I'm a musician. I write music, play many different instruments. And um, I've done that in the mainstream music industry for uh, almost 20 years. And uh, Signs is a venture I founded to bring music to the world that is intentionally crafted to work with the brain and the body to help us balance and find harmony. And to do that, we are leveraging uh, neuroscience and uh, binaural techniques that work with the brain and the body. Awesome. That's very cool. Have we heard any of your musics before? Have you heard? Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe. I have a lot of music <laughs> on, uh, on Spotify, and I've, I've also worked on a lot of uh, popular music for uh, R&B, hip hop, and, and pop. Uh, artists so possible that's so cool all right um so so let's dive right into the questions i'm actually really interested in today's session i really want to understand the science behind science so how does this uh how does science actually work sure um so what i'm doing is aligning brainwave states to mood states and aligning that to um, our everyday life experiences. And so we have five brainwave states, delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. And those different states will align with activities or moods that we're in throughout the day. If we're in a delta or theta state, uh, we're sleeping. Certainly if we're in a delta state, we're, we're certainly sleeping. And theta could align with meditation. Um, an alpha state can align with a calm uh, waking state and beta and gamma states are higher level uh, flow states that we could be involved in um, working, playing games, trading, um, physical fitness, uh, any activities like that. So from there, I'm able to intentionally craft the music to help mm -hmm. us get into these states uh, very quickly. What happens is the, the brain and the body will automatically synchronize to an audio reproduction of a brainwave state. So if I start playing a delta wave, you're certainly going to start to become drowsy as time goes. If I start playing a gamma wave, you may start to uh, feel more focused and more energized. And so with this methodology, uh, we're able to weave these uh, frequencies into musical compositions and uh, use all the other parameters of creating musical compositions like tempo and arrangement and instrument selection and musical tuning uh, to further evoke these states. Okay, that's interesting. So you're saying that there's like a bunch of these different brain waves that would trigger something in our head to get us more energized when we're listening to it. So you're saying that I could be more productive if I listen to certain type of musics that are within science. Uh, you could. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we have music for focusing um, and for sleep, meditation, joy, creativity, uh, balancing. Um, we also have guided meditations as well, but, uh, yeah, absolutely. Our focus music would uh, help with that. Awesome. It's really great how you guys are really leveraging on these, you know, different brain waves to impact our overall mood. So another question that I have is that, so you have all these different music that caters to us different purposes, but could you share some insights into like the process of composing this music specifically designed to enhance, for example, mental health, wellness, or other athletic performance, or yeah. 
Sure. What's the process? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, the the process is is partly like writing any other musical composition and using a similar palette of instruments, guitars, synthesizers, um, percussion that I collect from all over the world, from Indonesia, Africa, and many other countries, uh, nature sounds that I record from uh, my travels all over the world, and um, other instruments like crystal balls and uh, things that create uh, harmonious uh, frequency. And from there, I'm working in musical tunings that are non-standard. So I'm working in 432 hertz tuning or 444 hertz tuning. Standard tuning is 440 hertz. Um, and uh, I find with the these alternate tunings, um, we're changing the wavelength of the sound. So with 432 hertz, we're elongating the wavelengths. So the hum humans are very uh, attuned to 440 hertz because for at least the last 100 years, majority of music that we hear, wherever we may go, or in the car, or the grocery store, wherever there's music playing, even if it's at a low level, we are hearing a 440 hertz tuning stimuli. So when the body is presented with a stimuli that is different, a, uh, a different feeling can be evoked. So if it's a longer wavelength, a more relaxed feeling can be evoked. If it's a 444 hertz tuning, a, uh, a more engaged feeling can be evoked. So it starts there with the instruments and the, and the tuning, and then it gets into the, the pacing to which uh, the tempo, the arrangement, and the and the and the feeling of what what is what does this optimal uh, what is the optimal level of this mood state that I'm um, attempting to compose for, and that's where it starts from. Okay, interesting. I'm curious to know actually, is there a reason why uh, you know previous music in the past has always been in for forty hertz? Well, it was it was standardized in the early 1900s. Um, okay. why I don't know, uh, I, I believe they made standards to help with musical instrument, instrument manufacturing. Of course, there's mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, conspiracy theories, uh, <laughs> or maybe they're truths <laughs> about, uh, uh, population control and, and, and uh, and, and <laughs> no, I heard those. yeah, yeah. So is, are the, is that true? Maybe, um, uh, definitely, if we look at the geometry that sound creates, we can de and the mathematics of sound and the work that people like uh, polymath Robert Grant has shown in in modern times, um, then we can see that there is a geometric harmony to tunings like 432 hertz, and we can see that there is not the same harmony to tunings like. 440 hertz. Interesting. Yeah, that's that's really fascinating there. Like, <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, also, so we've noticed that you guys have a bunch of integration, including like NFT art, MDR uh, therapy, and also brain balancing music, which is very intriguing. So I'm wondering how did the idea come about and what are the benefits um, that you guys offer to users, especially towards these integrations? Yeah, uh, so in, in uh, regard to the visual art with the EMDR therapy, that's art that I create. And uh, EMDR therapy uh, typically is uh, very institutional and it's like a usually like a black screen with a green dot that is moving from side to side in a pace um, of a frequency of a brainwave state. And it's another way to synchronize the hemispheres of the brain visually, which I'm doing the same thing audibly. Now with creating the visual art, I'm doing also visually. So now we have the, the music and the visual creating the, uh, the synchronizing for the body and the brain and that weaves into the art at a really like a subliminal level it's a it's a layer within the art 
depending on how the intensity we want to bring that forward at, you may or may not be able to, to notice it, uh, depending how closely you are, are, are looking. However, at the, even at the subtle level, the brain and the, the eyes are picking up on this uh, pulsation that's layered mm -hmm. in the image and thus you're synchronizing the brain. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. So you guys have a visual aid that comes alongside of the audio. That's interesting. Yeah, um, so the, the visual, and we don't have the visuals in the app system just oh, okay. yet, but they will be. Uh, right now, the visuals, uh, I've been installing them as, as, well, they've been installations, large installations in um, for uh, corporations or for hotels or spas or public spaces, really. It could be in a, a mall or airport. Um, so there is, we do extend um, to that as well. And, and through the, uh, the other part of your question, why do I do that? Why did that come about? And how, why did I come up with that idea, if you will? Um, I, I, I look at these therapies that are available, like EMDR or, or mm -hmm. like even sound therapies, and they're very they're very institutional. They're they're hard for people to uh, find, to even know about, to uh, to digest really, and 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 interface with. So I felt like, well, how about we take these amazing therapies and we bring them more into the forefront of society and put them in the art, so we can have um, art, visual, and music experience. It doesn't seem so institutional and it's it's more enjoyable but we're getting the same result yep yeah got it yeah definitely i've heard of emdr before but for those that haven't heard could you please explain to our audience like what emdr actually is yeah so it's um it's eye movement uh, <laughs> de uh desensitization um and it's uh, essentially the stimuli is moving like this, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it starts it starts to balance the brain and relax the eyes. And why they put that term on it, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Wikipedia search for that, I don't re remember right now. Um, but that's the 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 um, the heart of it is really balancing the brain. And we're doing this, let's say if we move this stimuli in a theta brainwave uh, pattern, okay, then we start watching it and then it starts synchronizing. Yeah, amazing, awesome. So a lot of our viewers are actually traders right now. So I'm actually kind of curious for traders who often face high stress situations, how can science be practically utilized to reduce stress, you know, elevate clarity, energy and focus and to better support their sleep and trading in the trading community specifically? Sure. Yeah. Um, so they can interface with the app right from their computer if they're if they're in front of their computer or, or of course, their mobile device and to to keep harmony in their in their space, in their body, in their mind, um, the stress can be happening on the screen it could be happening in these virtual worlds if you will but if we can stay calm through our mind and our body through that then we can make better decisions to navigate these situations and and to get through these situations because um there's always going to be challenges in in life and there's certainly always going to be challenges in business or in in trading so if we can keep ourselves at a at a harmonious level no matter what is going on then we're going to make better decisions and we're not going to make ourselves sick from stress mm. yeah definitely and so from what we can see also the data on anxiety reduction for science is impressive so could you elaborate how science managed to achieve a 50 percent reduction in anxiety symptoms after only 30 day use. Sure. Yeah. Um, so 
it's it's about consistency. It's like a gym for your mind. If if we if we go to the gym once a week, um, we're probably not going to see much results in our body. But if if we go every day, and we and we develop a practice, we will certainly see amazing results, even in just thirty days. And and the same is with the brain and the mind. So if you are balancing your brain waves and synchronizing your brain hemispheres every day as a practice, then, well, first of all, immediately, almost in, in minutes, really, it can reduce anxiety because you bring the body into harmony. And a lot of states of anxiety, depression, uh, fear responses can be significantly reduced by harmonizing the brain and the body. Then from there, we may have to deal with an actual situation that is happening. Sometimes we go into anxiety and and stress responses, and we may realize that we are completely safe and nothing's actually happening. We may be creating this in our mind uh, based on a a fear response or, or an insecurity. But as we train the brain and we continuously have this practice, we start to develop new neural pathways. We start to open new neural pathways uh, or or, um, pathways that have gone somewhat dormant. And we, and we keep, we keep stimulating the mind. Mm -hmm. That's great. So now we have the stress, um, practicality type of things and we also have the anxiety reduction what about enhancing sleep so we noticed that um, sleep improvement is also a significant benefit to using science so what specific element in science music contribute to nearly a 60 percent improvement in sleep habits um, delta and theta waves and help helping the helping the brain and the body move more easily into uh, these brain states that are aligned with sleep. So if someone is is having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, if we keep the music playing, essentially a stimuli that is emitting a brainwave pattern that is aligned with sleep, then we are giving the person an optimal possibility for their body to align with that delta or theta state and thus for them to start to fall into sleep or to stay asleep. Okay, that's interesting. So I want to know further on how how the beta waves specifically are used to increase focus because you mentioned that 81% improvement focus starts with uh, beta waves. So how can us individuals incorporate beta wave stimulation into like our daily routines for like optimal focus? Yeah, um, simply hitting play. <laughs> we, have music, <laughs> we have music for focus. I mean, that, that is the magic of the, of the sound and even the visuals is that it does a lot of the work um, for us. And, um, so also in the, in the app, I have, um, frequencies for all brainwave states that are raw frequencies. Some people want to listen to, uh, like to listen to binaural waves or isochronic tones, which is a, a pulsation of, uh, style of a, of a wave. And just by putting those on and looping them, it could be a, even a low volume while we're working or engaging. You will see very quickly that you <laughs> your focus really pulls in. You are right here in presence because you are getting this balancing of, of, of your brain and it is supporting you the whole time. It is keeping you in this optimal focus the whole time. And, uh, and, using that for, for any type of work or flow state or physical activity. And absolutely for, for trading, um, to have the mind in, 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 a, in an optimal state, again, allows us to make better decisions, uh, faster decisions, see 
things that are happening, maybe see ahead a bit and be able to uh, respond. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I'm actually curious to know because um, assuming that we do put this music a focus in loop, will our brain ever get too used to the music? Mm -mm. Not, uh, not that I've, I'm aware of. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it just keeps providing a, a, harmon a harmonious space. You, you may at some point after, let's, it could be a period of time, could be an hour, could be a few hours. Um, this happens with me and sometimes I'm like, okay, I've, I've, I've had enough, but like I'm, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna play something else. Um, maybe I'm just gonna play something from Spotify. Maybe I just wanna hear like some art, some art music and some different music, right? And so um, you, someone may get to that point where it's like, okay, I, I feel, I feel great. I feel aligned. And um, I like to take a break from this. Interesting. And what about for, so you mentioned gamma wave stimulation. So what about for fatigue reduction? So does that mean I just hit a play button and I would instantly feel rejuvenated? <laughs> well, it certainly will help uh, or certainly has the, the potential to help. Um, Cause of course it depends where your where your fatigue may be coming from but um absolutely um hitting play on on gamma waves or uh, our music designed for for energy um will certainly help bring the brain and the body in the in that optimal energetic state help help lift uh help lift you and we we've seen great results with this we we do work with various corporations and, and providing that app as a wellness benefit for the employees. And sometimes you get people are tired after lunch or it's just <laughs> the, middle of the afternoon and they, they are working nine to five or 10 to six and, and they just need a boost and put this on. It can just give you a lift for the, for the next few hours of the day. Amazing. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to it more so I could eventually become a morning person. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great okay what about for headache relief so what's the what's the what's the backing here like so how does the reduction in pain with delta wave um how, how does it work in terms of relieving headaches and yeah, yeah. And that's about that's about calming the body and, and about calming calming the brain um a lot of times headaches can be uh stress induced and um, that comes usually from tension in the body so if we can uh, a delta state being is really aligning with sleep usually um this very the waves are moving very slow so if we mm -hmm. start to get the body to to start pull down into this then we can find that the the stress that may be in our neck our shoulders and our head can start to reduce everything starts to relax so through the relaxation if we're dealing with headaches that are from stress and tension then we have a positive result interesting and what about headaches like migraines because i have a lot of those <laughs> mm -hmm. uh it it could help absolutely it could help and and certainly it depends what's what's the root cause of the of those headaches um, but I have seen, uh, people with, with migraines from various, uh, situations that, it, that it has helped. So I'd say it's certainly worth a try. Definitely. I mean, if, if, if that helps, that's definitely worth a try. Um, yeah. Our last question of the day is that, so we know that, um, that the waves music help 78% of subjects enter a meditative state within just five minutes. So how do individuals like optimize these meditation practices using science? So any like frequency that you recommend, like how often should they use uh, the Tata Wave music to enter this meditation state or yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah. Um, they can, they can work with our meditation playlist of music. We also have guided meditations that are oh. that is backed by the music. And then, uh, and then we have the binaural and uh, isochronic tones uh, for a theta brainwave state. And um, I'm meditating every morning 
uh, 20 to 40 minutes uh, every morning. Um, so that's that's my practice. And um, I am, uh, I, we have some frequencies on the app for organs. There's an album called Organized. So I, I play that through and um, it, it plays different uh, frequencies that are aligned with the organs in our body. I do that for about five minutes and then I go into a 20 minute um, affirmation meditation with music and, and different affirmations that are for me. And then coming out of that, I may go into uh, uh, 528 Hertz theta wave. And uh, then I may go into, uh, into gamma waves. So once I'm, I've like brought myself into this very calm state in the morning, then I turn it up because <laughs> then it's time. <laughs> Then it's time for uh, a workout or work or both um, and, and to, to really go into the day. So uh, that's that's my practice. And um, I suggest people meditate every day if they can. And carving out that time, really, you may find yourself to be able to work longer, to focus longer, to do the things that you want to do and be able to do more of that with more clarity from a more harmonious space. If you carve out um, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes uh, in the morning to, to set your mind and your body in a harmonious space for the day. Awesome. It's really interesting to see how um integrated music really is in your life and i'm sure if a lot of people's life and to kind of make like that healthy switch into like you know using science for their benefits because i'm sure we already put certain musics on loop already so might as well give this a try as well um, yeah absolutely yeah um thank you so much greg for your time today and i think that pretty much wraps up our ama for today if you haven't checked out science do check it out and uh, check out your socials as well for more info. And thank you so much, Greg, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.